Today we're going to be doing aerial cartwheels. I'm going to go through a series of drills um, on how I like to teach aerial cartwheels. There's a couple of ways to do them. There's a couple of different arm swings. They all work. And if it works for the child, if I get a kid that already has an aerial with a different arm swing, I don't try to change it or fix it. I like this arm swing for a number of reasons, particularly for beam, to make it easier to land on the beam, okay? So the first drill we're going to do is we're going to use an arm swing that goes from the side, across, and pulls to stabilize the aerial cartwheel. So the kids have to learn that first. Okay guys, you ready? Line up. And so we're gonna just do a simple drill where we reach down, swing the arm across into the armpit and pull out. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, pull those arms back hard. Okay, from there we try to get the idea of how to do the aerial cartwheel by doing one, um, first the arm swing into a cartwheel, then one arm cartwheels left and right, and then I'll show you another drill and spot that we do, okay? So we ready, guys? We're gonna do the arm swing cartwheel. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, if you notice the girls are bouncing their feet, I like them to do this so that they're aware of hip open and that they're forcing a push forward at the beginning of the aerial cartwheel or the beginning of the cartwheel. Now let's do near arm cartwheel, guys. So the arm, the same leg, same arm, the other arm goes out. One, two, three, go. And pull the arms, chin up, bent front knee, ladies. Good, tight and hollow. Now I've got um, level fives and one level seven here that uh, doesn't know how to do an aerial cartwheel so we can see the learning process that they're going to make mistakes, how to correct them and what the emphasis is, okay? So we do a couple of these every day where they do the one, well, when they're learning them, most of them can do them already, um, where they do one arm then the other arm. All right, guys, you ready to do the other arm now? One, two, three, go. So this is the far arm cartwheel. They're trying to do the arm swing and put their far arm down so they're learning how to pull with the opposite arm, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. okay, we're gonna show a spot that gives the girls the idea of how to pull their arms. This is a really good way to get kids who are nervous about the skill to do it. It takes some practice from the coach and the kid, so you gotta be patient with this. You gotta be real careful about how much pressure you put on their arms, because if you pull too hard, you're gonna fling them into the splits which isn't fun. Nobody's done it yet in this gym, so good, but um, watch the spot. First thing we do is we determine what leg. She's a lefty, so I have to be on her right side. She's gonna give me her left hand, and then I'm gonna reach over and grab the right hand. Now you tell the child they have to step past you to do the aerial, and you're gonna pull their arms out as they turn. Ready? One, two, step past, aerial. Okay, if you can see I'm pulling her arms out at the end so she gets the idea to finish and pull to make the aerial cartwheel count. One, two, three. Okay, okay, you need to be on the opposite side of wherever they're going. Heather's a righty, so she's gonna do her aerial this way. Okay, yep, one, two, step past and go. Okay, arm out, don't forget, no bent arm. Okay, try it again. Hand, hand, touch, touch, step past. Okay, good. Now I'm pulling their arms out so they get the idea of stabilizing the skill at the end for beam, okay? As I said, most of these girls can already do an aerial. So um, after this step, we usually go over to the foam pit off the tumble track to do them. It's the easiest place for them to get it where they have a soft landing and they can make a lot of mistakes. Some people teach the aerial from a run or a hurdle Ultimately, to get it on beam, that's counterproductive because you can make so many mistakes doing it that way and still succeed that the kids will never learn to do it right where they can see the landing and stabilize the landing if you let them go from a run, from a hurdle. So we're gonna go show now how we do it into the pit and then some aerials on the ground. Okay, so for beginners, we wanna start them off in a situation where they're not threatened, where they feel like it's easy, and if they crash, they're not gonna get hurt. So we do them into the loose foam first. Again, we're not doing them from a hurdle, right, Haley? We'll graduate from station to station. Once they get it here, they try it up on the tumble track, then up on the tumble track on a mat, then we'll do it out on the floor. If you can see the arms pulling out, stabilize them and let them see the landing for beam. That's why we choose to do the, the arms this way.
I'm gonna be giving them corrections on how they're landing because the next step is to take it up onto a mat or to the beam platform, okay? It's very important that they land with their foot straight ahead or turned out, never turned in. That'll turn their hips sideways and knock them right off the beam. Good feet, good job. Don't let the weight shift to the back foot. Try to keep the weight on both feet, okay? Okay, chin up at the end, focus out at the end. So the next step is to go up onto a mat. The little girl start at two high and then build it up to four high. And um, then we will take it over to the platform of the beam and then a matted beam. Okay, go ahead. Get that chin snapping up right away, okay? Nice job though. Okay. Drive harder off the back foot so it turns over. Both of these, these, this skill and the front aerial are all about turnover. If you watch, they should be trying to get their chest down low on takeoff, and it's a whip skill. It comes over quickly from the feet. Let's see if she can get her chest down and drive that foot over her head hard. Okay, better drive that foot down to the mat harder, okay? All right, one more. Okay, good. All right, guys, good job.